happy. I love this episode. American Eagle is leading the pack when it comes to nostalgia, so we are gonna go back to the early 2000s. I will not wear low-rise jeans. You wanna go to first base? Hey. Oh, it's in my house! Don't you dare! Hello, and welcome back to Clever Style. Yes, welcome we are your back. familiar, not so expert fashion experts that you come to to find out what you should be buying on the internet. Yes, and contrary to popular belief, this might sound crazy, but we have not always been fashion experts. <gasps> we lived through the 2000s, which I think if you can style yourself in the 2000s, you can do anything. Like those iconic American Eagle jeans, those Hollister tank tops, I say tank tops because you know you were like four over each other if you didn't have like multiple poking out of the bottom who were you even so you've probably seen nostalgia is having a huge fashion moment and American Eagle is definitely diving into an early 2000s vibe right now but they have updated it it's more modern and it's more size inclusive so we're gonna check it out so we have to try on many many things we are each gonna be doing five different rounds as a nod to the early 2000s they are gonna be in the categories tops, bottoms, jeans, sweaters, and wild card as we do. I'm here for the early 2000s throwback situation, but I will not wear low rise jeans. Do you hear me? Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't have a ton of memories of wearing American Eagle clothing, but I do have a lot of memories of wishing I could wear American Eagle clothing. I definitely shopped at American Eagle growing up. I mean, you guys know me. Like, I loved my Y2K, early 2000s clothing. I want to find something that really reminds me of what I wore in high school. I want to wear all the things that I wasn't confident enough to wear then. Now, 2000s tops for me, I wore a lot of like the baby doll tunic, which was like fitted, Ooh. boom. Lots of tie dye, billowy peasant tops, dragonflies, some floral print, vintage t-shirts. Oh, this one's kind of cute. It's like a simple tank, like simple tie dye, like that. This rugby polo t-shirt is calling my name. This was a look that I wish I could have pulled off. It's like an Abercrombie shirt to me. It reminds me of like my high school boyfriend. They have straight up skater jeans. My boyfriend in high school wore skater jeans. I used to think skater boys were so hot. These are fun, mostly because it has the word highest before waist. And I'm all about that high waist life. And these are cute. I feel like there's not too many rips. Rips, 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 everywhere. The rips in their jeans are interesting. Some, they nailed it. Some, it's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I kind of have been itching for some overalls, which by the way, I used to wear all of the time. Y'all, this is so cute. I will either look like an old lady tending to her garden or a toddler. I'm not gonna lie, sweaters is probably my least favorite category. When I think of sweater, I think of Taylor Swift maybe? The color scheme of it does remind me of a lot of the like pinks I used to wear in high school, but it also looks like a sweatshirt that I would really like to wear now. Man, a lot of the sweaters I wore in the 2000s were like the sweater with the collar poked out over top. So it was like V-neck. Oh my God, I used to wear those all the time. Flannel was a huge trend in the 90s. That's another trend that I love that has come back in a major way. Carpenter vibes. Shakitaika. So, something just happened to my brain. I would say the one thing I'm noticing about American Eagle overall is that it's not particularly, particularly, it's not exactly my style. What is this? What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's what I'm buying. Ever since we did that legging episode, I can't stop buying airy leggings, but I had no idea that American Eagle had cool leggings. Add to cart. I think I got some good stuff that I tried to make still like my style and feel true to me. I thought this was gonna be harder to find a bunch of things that I was excited to, to try on. My inner youth is going to be so excited to finally wear cute and trendy clothes. All right, you guys, first up we have our tops category and I am bringing you a very not early 2000s tank top. This was $20, very cute. I mean, I love this. Just objectively, I think this is a cute tank top. Yeah. Doesn't remind me of anything in the early 2000s. I mean, I guess you could stretch and be like, it's 70s, it's tie-dye, tie 90s, 90s maybe. Yeah, this style was just not popular because back then we were doing a lot of low rise. So anything really cropped would have just been like a no-no. You would have been naked, that would have been all torso. Like, 
Britney um, Spears, for real. It's, it's very modernized. They, I feel like this cut is very in. Um, I wear a lot of tank tops like this from even Goodwill or Hanes. This one's a little bit thicker and they've got the cute little tie-dye, but it's not like overdone. Zebra stripes? Like zebra like almost, like yeah. Or almost like you spilled your Kool-Aid on yourself. Yes, yeah. there's a very, like I spilled my coffee many a time. Yeah. Also with these pants and imagine my headset, yes. there's a little like yeah. yes. pop singer. Like a mall performer. Oh, yeah. But better. Britney you really started, went and did no, you like Britney that? Britney started, started out as a mall. mall. Did you not watch her documentary? I picked this because Paisley was a thing I was really into in high school in the 2000s. <laughs> this is definitely more of a trend, the puffy sleeves. I'm seeing a lot of all over different fashion websites. This type of twist tie front is, I'm see, like I'm seeing a lot of it. I don't, I'm not gonna call something a trend because I don't actually know. I just know I'm seeing a lot of it. So I wanted to give it a try and I'm pleasantly surprised. This is not really me at all, but it looks really cute. I agree, I think this is really cute. I really like that it feels like a more it's obviously a nod. It's like a vintage beach, like bathing suit yeah, type like a of high top. Yeah. yeah, like there is like a, a fresh twist on it. And I, I, I like it's like, it's kind of like loosely sitting on me, which is nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think it has this stretch. Situation. It's not so it's like cool. tight, like pop star feeling. Yeah. Yes. You know what it'd go really well with? Low rise jeans. Oh. Don't you dare! American Eagle was like my dream place to shop and so I never got a chance to do that. So I'm kind of like throwing it back to something I wish I could wear in the early 2000s. This is super cute though. It's a little pricey y'all. It's like $45, which is like more than I would pay for a shirt anywhere. There's yeah. always a coupon in American Eagle. Now <laughs> sign up for the newsletter. <laughs> Um, this is super cute though. I feel like this fabric I'm so into now and I would have been into it back then. The only thing that I would change about this to make it a little bit more modern, I actually feel like it fits. The length. Yeah. Okay, hear me out. Roll it halfway. Cause it's the length is just too, it's too long. Meets too much of the pants. Yeah. Like, is it so, cuter? Yes. That was my only note is it felt a little bit long. So I would definitely like roll it or crop it or something. This girl goes to brunch. I really like this. I feel like anyone of any age could wear this. I feel like you could see a mom pulling this off at the yeah. PTA meeting, and then you could also see like the cool teenager, cute, girly style teenager in high school wearing this too. Like it doesn't feel like we're trying too hard is what you're saying? Yes. yes. Anyway, this is great. Yes. Let's go to bottoms. This is our bottoms round in high school. Did you guys wear mini skirts? Yes. No, 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 I would be kicked out. I went to a California public school, like we oh. could get away with anything. Pretty okay, much. well, I haven't done the fingertip test in decades, so I was really curious and I did this in the dressing room and I could totally wear this to my high school. What? I was expecting this to be like really short. I don't know. So American like, Eagle was always on the more conservative path in my opinion. Yeah. They weren't as like yeah. Abercrombie was, right? Oh, it was always yeah, the Abercrombie yeah. skirts. That I, I will say though that this is a skirt so, situation. Skirts oh, is were it? big in the 2000s. They kind of were big in the 90s. Yeah. I'm, I have all about a skirt. Skirts are nice because you know, Wait, is when you like this, visibly? you're not flashing anybody. So this is like some heavy denim, right? American Eagle is not playing around. This isn't the jegging. This isn't like super stretchy. I mean, it's stretchy, but it's thick. This is one size larger than my jean size because I think with skorts, it's like a romper issue. You might run into it just like all up in your, your booty crotch. <laughs> and I wanted it to be a little more comfortable. And so I sized up and I think, I think this is like, Perfect. I think that's I really it. cute. I like that the buttons are off center. Back yeah. in the day, they would have been right down the yep. center. So I think it's mm -hmm. got this cute little twist. I think that's adorable and I didn't realize I it was a skirt. So I mean, tons of fun playing around. Good uh, outfit. I'm happy. I love this episode. So I was like, I want to do a nod back to OVs to see if they still like, you know, made me feel as comforted as I did. It's a fun look. I just don't know if this executed super well. I feel like it fits me except here. It's like, mm. there's like a lot of extracurricular room and activities going on in here. Like I could like literally gather my eggs here. See, I want these on you in, an, in a large. Like yeah. I want these on you where they're oversized and almost like you're like accidentally the coolest person in the world like walking around. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's yeah. Still a movie. The artsy girl that like gets the makeover. I've never been to prom or kissed a boy. I don't know what heels are. But I do think these are cute for certain people. I think they're a little short for me. I think that they don't fit me perfect. I wish it had, oh it does. I was like, I was to say, that's the first pair I've seen with the little hammer holder. Uh, they're called carpenter jeans, Lauren, yeah. and they used to be my thing. What do you do with that? You put a thing You put in your it? hammer on yeah. it. You know what? You're so from California. <laughs> or like a cell phone. <laughs> I would never wear a hammer. I mean, it wasn't that country, but I wanted people to think I was. Brother, she's country. 
I thought maybe I had picked out the ones with the cross thing that's that went viral airy. on TikTok, but that was airy. But these are from American Eagle. They're very buttery, very soft. These are a size medium. These are the highest waist legging and they are $35, which is actually very fairly priced in my opinion for a legging. I have my brands of leggings that I love to death. So unless these were anything unique and different, I wouldn't gravitate towards these. However, if you love American Eagle leggings, these are a great basic American Eagle legging. I mean, I'm just dying picturing something like this coming out in the early 2000s. They'd be like, why are your pants so high? But this is now to yeah. me, like all I wear. These to me, these are low. Yeah, they're thick, but they're not like overly like you can't move around and have it like poke your stomach. I do fear that they'll maybe fall down a little, so maybe I'll size down for the next time. But for a basic legging, American Eagles really evolved. We love that. I don't even think they used to wear like come out with leggings or workout yoga pants. No or workout anything. gear. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I wore a lot of Blood. soccer shorts. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so many so 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 shorts. Like, so so Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I know you guys have kind of jumped the gun a little with these uh, denim numbers. Doesn't but count. Doesn't count, because I want to get into the real reason why we are here. The American Eagle jeans. Very infamous. Let's just do it. Oh, the dreaded jeans round. It's the dreaded category of any video I do because jeans are so, so hard. Although we did all get a mom jean, which is interesting. Mom jeans. This is an okay mom jean. I think that it fits pretty well. I think it's comfortable. I think it's a little too short for me. I feel like <laughs> you think they're short because they're wearing heels, but they're really, if they were in tennis shoes, they'd be meeting You know why I think they feel short is because I feel like they're wide. They're open and then they kind of come in mm. and that draws my eye in shorter for some that reason. Is that the mom's, what makes it a mom jean? The fact that it does get cusp, like, tighter at the bottom. I feel like mom jeans are just a little roomier in their overall yeah. fit. This is an eight long and it fits me. It's super stretchy. So if I went up a size, this would like hang mm. and defeat. Almost all. like a it boyfriend would, jean. It like would a hang off of me. Yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised by this. Like the cuff at the bottom, it's like this open slit. So I was like, how do I, what shoe do you pair mm. with this type of thing? So I tried to get these sandals and I almost broke my neck putting them on. So if you do buy these, don't. But if you do not listen to me, <laughs> Um, sit down when you put these on. So I got, I guess, technically the same jeans as both of them. It was a mom jean. Mine is just a different wash that has two rip holes in the knees. There was a bunch of different mm -hmm. washes with different types of rips, which I actually really like. I think it's personal. Everyone has different rip yeah. preferences, right? <laughs> but they are decent quality. I do think that because of all the rips, it's going to rip even more. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure over time if it's worth it to me. They're definitely on the more lightweight side of jeans. They're not going to be that thick denim Levi feel. I don't always love that. So it's mm -hmm. definitely like movable. But I think you just wait for a sale. I think these jeans are great. Just wait for a sale. Don't yeah. you guys feel like on TikTok they made these jeans like look cooler? What if the mom jeans don't fit us the way they fit the teens because we are not teens. And, and we aren't moms. Not yet a girl, not yet a woman. <laughs> This might be one of my favorite rounds. We are doing sweaters and I just want to go first because I just like love this sweater. This is a size large and it's around $40 and I actually think I would size up next time, maybe an XL because I like that oversized look and it's a good length. It's not too much, too little. I, I think it's a really comfortable sweater. Erin had said it's almost like you like slept at your boyfriend's house and then you like left in his sweater and I was like, oh, the fantasy I wanted so bad in high school. So I'm living it without the boyfriend needed. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, pop it. it. Oh. How's that? How many more collars do you have? This is very friendly. A couple. Do I smell like fierce? Like, you're literally dressed like my high school boyfriend and I'm imagining your cologne he's wearing. I'm just like, oh, I hope my husband doesn't watch this episode. <laughs> Wanna go to first base? I'm interested. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Pink is a hard color for me to buy, or it used to be when I had blonde hair, because I felt like bright, bright Barbie pink mm. is so girly. But this is like a peach with this very subtle, for me, tie-dye-ish, yes. faded, bleach, whatever that reverse tie-dye thing is, I don't know. Um, but I love this soft peach color. I'm not a big fan of like earthy, muted tones most of the time. This is like brighter of a of a peach pink than, than I was expecting, which I'm, I'm, I love it. This is so cute. Also, I feel like these jeans look way better uh -huh. with the tennis shoes. Yes, uh -huh. it's way more out. like this whole yeah. thing with the top. Now I'm loving these jeans. I could see you wearing this all the time, like okay. this top, because it's one of those tops that you throw on, like mm -hmm. as your shirt to like walk God or, yeah. or whatever, and, and then you end up wearing it all day. Piece too, yeah, from like colder, cooler months yeah. into warmer months. Throw it on over a sports bra if you're working yes. out. Yeah. You know, yeah. you look like you taste like a nice, fruity, delicious snack, like yeah. a sorbet. Sorbet. 
Well, this sweater I chose specifically because I love these stretched out, faded, yes. grungy, ill-fitting types of shirts. I think this one is cooler because it's cropped and they weren't cropped back in the Dude, day. I, wait, I have to interject. This is reminding me of Jennifer Love Hewitt, like <gasps> in like an I Know What You Did Last Summer type oh, of sweater. Yeah. And this yes. necklaces and the way you're wearing it, I'm like Actually, falling yeah. in yes. love with it. And this is a $45 sweater, which honestly, I know there's coupons and sales, I know it, but I would only pay like 15 bucks for this. Like this doesn't even feel like a $30 shirt to me. Yeah. Maybe it looks like it. You no, know, I feel like they're pricing it high because they're making it a sweater, but it is more of a shirt. It's more of a shirt. And that's a high price. Yeah, you're the lead. You're the only person who survives in a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in my house. My boyfriend's dead. Oh, wait, it's not working. This phone that has like a button on it, it doesn't in <laughs> okay, so this is our wild card round. It could be a tribute to the 2000s or just us kind of seeing what's going down on American Eagle's website. I'm a big fan of tie dye. I'm a big fan of leggings and I'm a big fan of matching sets. This is adorable. I love this be beyond words. Like it's a little expensive. Come on, can you touch it? Coupon. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's thin. It's, but it's like a fitted, which it's I love. It's super fitted. It's thin, so you can't, you know, don't wear black panties with it. But I think there's so much pattern going on that it doesn't actually matter that it's a, that it's a little um, thin. It looks cool because it looks like you're wearing two sports bras. Mm -hmm. oh, which yeah. kind of makes it really sporty, I feel like. The yeah. little mesh yeah. underlying thing. It's like watercolors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. <laughs> so scrunchy with a hidden pocket. Guess what's in the pocket? Drugs. Oh my god. How 2021 is that? Absolutely yes. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so it's like a little bike short unitard moment. I just feel like this is so cute. I have gotten one leotard before from Zara and it was a long, like long sleeve pant, long pant long and a tank. And that almost felt like a little gimmicky, like a little circusy because it was like full like outfit. Yes. Mm. Whereas this like feels a little bit more appropriate. I could throw on a sweater with it. I don't feel like silly in it. Tie around your waist again. There's like, like three motor. different ways you can wear it. Yeah. Like that or, oh, like I just did a yoga class. I'm so tired. There's a little chill in the like air. Like I was just wrestling. It's not like a yoga. Oh, you're a tall girl. So I yeah. think that's like the perfect length. I'm like 5'8". You can also let it bunch up a little, which I'd probably do. And oh my God, I just feel cool as heck. So cool. Look at me feeling cool as heck. I know, I feel like I'm getting ready to go to like eat cotton candy with like yes. my high school boyfriend Fair. on the pier or something. It's not the coat, it's actually just the dress. Oh, okay. Why well, still love the dress. I paired it with the coat just because I had it with me and it's a scoop neck long version of this dress because again, I'm a little bit of a tall girl. The pattern is so vintage. It's because yes. the flowers are like beigey cream. They're not like white and crisp. They look a little dingy, which I kind of mm. like. And the back has this like little yeah, cutout thing, That's this so little cute. cutout thing that's super cute. It's so the color is so pretty. Like flirty and like summery and very mm. American Eagle. Like I loved all of these little wild cards. This was books. awesome. Let's do Abercrombie, Abercrombie and we have to be in it. I just casted myself. Shotgun. All right, you guys, those are all of our looks from American Eagle. It was really, really fun to kind of dive back in. I would say they are running a mix between 90s and early 2000s, but they're also really staying true to like their American Eagle core, really similar patterns and styles. So let us know in the comments if you had any favorites. It was too hard for us to choose a favorite in this episode. They're so cute. Also, let us know what other stores we need to rediscover because we are loving this so much, okay? So go type Abercrombie right now and then whatever your other suggestion is. Hollister. When you're done with that, be sure to click over here on the box covering up Gorgeous Madeline because if you click on the box, you get to unbox the, you'll Madeline. see more of Madeline. She should be there. Out of the box. Okay. It was B Mystery Box, now we know she's box. in it.